In 1991, Arsenio Hall interviewed Vanilla Ice. The following is an improvised reenactment. To watch the word for word interview, click here. From stage 29 at Paramount Studios on Melrose Avenue, in the heart of Hollywood, California, in the United States, on the point of we call her, it's the Arsherio Paul Show, starring Arsherio Paul. His debut album is called To the Extreme. Please welcome Vanilla Ice. Flavor Flav in the house. Flavor Flav in the house. Love you, man. Love you, man. I'm still yo. Hey, how you doing, baby? You all right? You're yeah. Right. Flavor Flav. Yeah. Flavor Flav. All right, man. Now, if you don't mind, can you uh, just wait over there while we do this interview? No, man! Love y'all. Peace. Flavor Flav in the house. All right. Uh, let's get to it here. Um, last night, you made a statement. Those that try to hold the Iceman down can kiss my white A double S. Yup, yup. So, I figured now I'll give you a little bit of time to expound on that. <laughs> well, look, I just basically said it because, you know, the people who said that I never could make it or said that I never amount to, you know, S-H-I, you know the rest. I do indeed. Yeah, and you know, they never said that a white boy could make it in rap music. Right. You know, can kiss my, you know the rest. <laughs> Well, KRS One says that you present a distortion, actually a distorted mutation of rap. Uh, what is that? I'm not sure I know what that means. I don't know what it means. I mean, I read the article, or at least you know, the, a lot of the article. Reading makes me sleepy. <laughs> me too. They're showing their own jealousy, man, and that's it. You saw Flavor Flav. You know me and him talk. We homies. We boys. He gave me 25 bucks to be here, our city, oh boy! Well, let me ask you a question. Is that why you brought him out, just to show that you have a black supporter, maybe like a black friend? No, no, no. I brought him out because he's a friend of mine. They don't like that, man. That well, man. that doesn't bother me, you know, because I'm not liked by a lot of people. Yeah, me too. Because I say what I say because I'm an American. So do I. Okay, well, there you go. I have that right. Word. I, I asked the question I asked because I did not see a purpose. It seemed to me like an unmotivated walk-on and I wanted to know why you did it. Yeah, boy! I brought him out here to show that he's my homeboy and he's in town and we just, you know, I'm kicking it with him. And that's what we do. And I'm gonna help him out and he's gonna help me out. And that's what, that's what, that's what it is, so you know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, I guess, I guess. Uh, now you and Hammer have been having some problems too. Now, huh? Hammer took you out on the road, and you've been quoted in a lot of interviews saying things about him. Uh, where did that battle come about? You know, when did the friendship break off? There's no battle. We're still friends, as far as I'm concerned. I've never said anything bad well, about him. Well, that's not him. true. That is not true. I have an eight-track cassette tape that I play in a truck that I bought off of a Penny Saver ad, and it is a tape of you talking about him. What, what I said, what I say bad Well, about you him. said a lot of things. It's very good quality. Please. You said uh, when you open for a hammer, you get more screams, you get more applause. Is that me saying anything bad about hammer? I don't think so. I guess you're right. I'm so sorry I even brought that up. True. Uh, that is not, yeah, that, I should have lived with this. Uh, how about you being sexier than hammer and you dancing better than hammer? <laughs> what? Well, you said that you were sexier than Hammer, dancing better than Hammer. Nah, I never said that, man. Oh, okay. Well, let's just... You know, I actually may have had the wrong audio tape, actually. I, I apologize for that. I'm so glad to hear this, and, you know... And you I'm, ride uh, motocross, man? Uh, motocross? No, I did not. Now, you are a champion of motocross? Yeah. I don't believe that. I think you're lying A lot of people don't that. believe it, but I'm champions in the GT. I'm champion in the Dallas. I'm champion all over the place with, mo with a motorcycle. Be that as it may, I talked to Hammer last night, and I want you to know... 
that he said I'm a good motocross driver? No, he has never seen you do motocross. As a matter of fact, Hammer can't be anywhere near motocross because uh, his family was killed by a motocross when it, somebody jumped off a track. And yeah, and how come nobody asked him if he's lying? That's a good question. You have to have Hammer on the show and talk to him about motocross. But on behalf, man, on your behalf, I want to tell you that I talked to Hammer last night. Brother was really hurt by it. He also talked to me about uh, Twin Peaks. He doesn't get that, too. So maybe you want to call him and explain Twin Peaks to him. We can get that together. So uh, I don't watch that stuff. I don't watch that stuff, man. Let's shake hands. All right. All right. This is Vanilla Ice. And the album <laughs> is called To the Extreme. Coming up next, the lovely and talented Vivica A. Fox shows off her knitting. Tune in next time for Governor Bill Clinton. Back with Sting and the... What does that mean, play us out? We'll do it live. We'll do... We'll do it live. Fuck it, fuck it, we'll do it live. Fucking thing sucks. I'm Arshirio Paul, the best and only Arsenio Hall parody show on YouTube. Subscribe now. Oh,